Okay, uh, so let's work a, a, a little more uh, maybe personalized example here. Uh, let's say that you can save $500 per month. Uh, you can earn interest on that the savings at 3% per year for 18 years. Uh, how much would you have for, so let's say you've got a kid college account, uh, let's just say you're saving for retirement or this is your personal investment account, all these things would, uh, would work the same way. Um, now, we're talking about compounding here in the lecture, so uh, of course we, we wanna know, does it matter how it's compounded? Uh, hopefully by now I've sort of hammered it home that yeah, absolutely, uh, compounding is a, 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 an extremely important factor in how much money you are going to end up with over this time period. Again, we uh, will show you. I'll show you here uh, that it, you know that it is uh, pretty important, uh, even at the the the, um, the relatively small amounts that we're talking about here. Um, so uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's do two problems. First, we'll do an annual compounding, and then we'll do a monthly compounding. Okay, uh, and uh, what we're asking for is uh, how much money is going to be in the account uh, that in 18 years, right? How much will I have for my children's college 18 years from today? Which means I am trying to solve for a future value, right? How much am I gonna have in the future? That means I need to plug in the rest of the unknowns, my present value, my payment, my IY, and my in. Now, my present value here is zero because I do not, or I don't, I'm not given any information about uh, beginning the account with some original investment, right? Now, this isn't always the case. For instance, you, uh, it might be pretty common in a situation like this to say something like, uh, your grandmother gave you uh, $5,000 to start an account uh, for your college account. Uh, and then your parents contributed $500 a month after that. So in that case, you'd have a present value because you would have some starting value, and then the payments would be the contributions, right? Now in this case, we don't have a present value because we don't start with anything. We simply start with a payment. Now, uh, here again, we need to ask ourselves what the story is, and the story is, is that I am contributing to an account. So this is gonna tell me what my cash inflows and outflows are contributions to this investment is a cash outflow. That is money leaving my you know, savings account, checking account, whatever it is, and going into this uh, investment account. And it's happening at a rate of $500 per month. So minus 500, it's a cash outflow. Now, because we are doing annual compounding, I need to convert all of the periodic inputs to be annual. That includes the payment. Right? So there is not gonna be any compounding every month. There's only gonna be compounding every year. So I need to convert my payment to an annual payment, which is 500 times 12 or $6,000 cash outflow per year. Now my IY is already given at the APR 3% per year. And my N is also already given as an annual uh, number of compounding periods, it is going to compound for 18 years. So what I do is I compute my future value here. Again, first things first, I clear my time value of money. I have $6,000. This is a cash outflow, so that's a negative. That's my payment. 3% uh, per year, so 3 IY. 18 years is the length of the account. Uh, my present value is zero. I compute my future value and I get $140,486.61.22. Okay. Now, what happens if we get the monthly compounding for our monthly contribution? Well, obviously we were gonna make a little bit more money uh, because we are earning compound interest at a monthly rate instead of at a daily rate. So every month we'll get a little more interest to earn. Our inputs are similar. Our present value is still zero. Our payment is now at a monthly payment. So we're gonna leave it at a $500 cash outflow per month, so negative 500. Instead, we need to convert our interest rate Instead of earning 3% per year, we need a monthly rate. So 3% divided by 12 months 
gives me 0.25% per month. And we have an in here. Instead of 18 years, I am going to have 18 years times 12 months per year, or 216 months. Right. Again, the way I'm checking whether I've got everything in row is that all of my compounding periods agree with the compounding period that I need to solve for. So I've got months, 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 months. I had years, 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 right? So I am always converting everything to the compounding period that I need to solve for. Here I'll compute my future value. And uh, again, I can, we can just do it on the calculator really quickly. Uh, second future value to clear our previous work. Uh, we have a payment of $500 per month, but this is a cash outflow, so it's a negative. That's our payment. Uh, I'll do it, uh, we have an interest rate uh, that is monthly, but we're given the annual rate, so 3% per year. But to get the monthly rate, we divide by 12 months to get 0.25%, and I will just go ahead and set that straight as our IY. Uh, and then 18 times 12 months is 216 months in 18 years. That's our N, the number of compounding periods. And to compute our future value, and we get that we would instead have $142,970 in the account. Right. So we'd have about $3,000 more uh, if we got monthly compounding instead of annual compounding. Uh, and that might not seem like much in the context of this, but remember that like the majority of the work being done here is on time in the 18 years. Uh, you're just getting that much compounding going on. And that this is a, you know, a non-trivial amount of money to save. And if you think about retirement being, say, more like a 40-year cycle, you know, maybe 20-ish or 25 to 65, uh, then uh, you, can, uh, you can earn uh, and save considerably more. Now, you may not be able to put $500 a month every month, uh, but you, know, you start smaller, and as hopefully as you earn more and more money, you, you, you uh, put more and more money in there, uh, and you can save up a significant amount of money. What's the, the important thing is uh, that you leave it in there and that you, uh, you earn the value of your time.